10. I want to announce that this morning Mr. Vungan has been appointed by the Acting Governor General acting on the advice of the Public Service Commission as Acting Police Commissioner of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Mr. Gard was previously the Director of the Bodily Correctional Facility from October 2022, a position he held on two occasions. Mr. Gard has received many awards for his, for his professionalism and dedication in the field of law enforcement. Nine. This academic year, we are reinstating principal's assistants clerical officers who function as secretaries to primary school principals. 16 schools are currently benefiting from significant infrastructural upgrades through a $16 million injection to complement the ongoing school rehabilitation program across the island. Recognizing the need for continued focus on mathematics, Prime Minister Philip J.P. has allocated $250,000 or half a million dollars for improved mathematics instruction this year. Let us embrace this new academic year with enthusiasm, resilience, and a shared commitment to excellence. Eight. A recently held two-day workshop marked a key point of development in the second phase of an ambitious digital content project set to transform national curricula into electronic books accessible to students and teachers. The laptops that are being provided by the government will now have content and that the purpose for which the laptops have been provided, it will be used. So we are expecting that teachers will incorporate this valuable new resource into the instruction and make use of the digital content. Seven. The Ministry of Agriculture delivered this farmer field school training session to farmers from Region 7 over the past three months. The intention has been on the adoption of ecosystem-friendly cultivation practices that are less reliant on the use of hazardous pesticides for the production of cucumbers. Basically, we were looking at cucumber production in downy and powdery mildew, which is a fungus which affects the leaves. And once the leaves are affected, then the productivity of the crop is also affected. So we looked at every component of cucumber production. Six. As the October 1st implementation of St. Lucia's new minimum wage approaches, the Department of Labor is intensifying efforts to educate both employers and employees and their staff about the rights and responsibilities under the new law. The minimum wage forms part of the Labor Act and it would be the responsibility of the labor officers to ensure that there is compliance. Five. In light of growing concerns about a potential dengue fever outbreak, the Environmental Health Division has ramped up its mosquito control efforts. The division has implemented a comprehensive plan that includes house-to-house -house inspections, targeting water sources, community education, and fogging operations. We urge the community to take personal responsibility in controlling mosquito breeding sites around the immediate environment. Four. The Project Implementation Unit, through its OECS Regional Health Project, recently handed over to the Environmental Health Division within the Ministry of Health equipment for the Entomology Lab. The equipment that uh, we are about to receive, I can assure you, would assist us significantly in not just knowing uh, the mosquito species that we have, the resistance levels, but also to allow us to plan better to respond to, to vector-borne diseases. Three. Eleven students of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College are on paid internship to increase their knowledge and understanding of St. Lucia's response to climate change impacts. This activity is the final component of the Youth in Climate Change project spearheaded by the Department of Sustainable Development. We have built their capacity as it relates to their knowledge of what is climate change, what are the impacts of climate change, and what St. Lucia is doing to respond. Two. Technical and Vocational Education and Training TVET is at the heart of our educational reform. Four new TVET schools will offer industry standard curricula and facilities, positioning our students to meet labor market demands, fostering entrepreneurship, and contributing to a more skilled workforce. The former Stanley John Odlum Memorial Secondary School is now the Stanley John Odlum School of Arts, Media, and Design. The former Granivier Secondary School is now the School of Sustainable Agriculture and Culinary Arts. 
The Angers Secondary School is now the School of Innovation and Technology. And the PI Secondary School is now the School of Construction and Heritage. At the mentioned schools, the traditional classroom settings of benches and desks have been replaced by modern barbershops, state-of-the-art kitchens, construction workshops, etc. Graduates from these schools will be ready for immediate immersion into the workforce. One. I greet you from the Helen of the West, St. Lucia, home of Olympic gold medalist Julian Alfred. Tourism connects people, cultures, and builds meaningful relationships. Therefore, my ministry commits to establishing an environment of understanding for all, regardless of identity, for the development of a more immersive tourism destination for all. Putut Moon, our culturally rich melting pot St. Lucia awaits everyone. Let her inspire you.